Hi. <laughs> Here I am for another camera video. Um, giving you the news that's currently going on. This is a really slow week because in the U.S. it's um, the celebration of the country's independence, July the 4th. So there's really not a lot of news going on. But this week's buzz is all about Canon. And Canon is supposed to be having an event on July the 17th. And they are supposed to announce two cameras on that date. Um, Nikon has done that before when they first introduced their mirrorless line with the Z6 and the Z7. <clears throat> so that's not that unusual. But they're saying that, uh, what is unusual, is they're saying that Canon is supposed to introduce the R1, which is their new flagship camera. And normally, if a company is announcing a new flagship camera, that's an event specifically for that camera, and they don't really talk about much else. They may introduce a lens or something, but the buzz is that they're going to introduce the R1 and the R5 Mark II. Um, there are the, some of the specs that have been coming out recently about the R5 Mark II is that it's going to introduce um, vents for cooling. Um, anybody who has owned a uh, major camera line camera knows that if you use it for extended periods of time like shooting video for like say an hour the cameras tend to overheat a little bit and so sometimes they uh, camera companies will try to figure out ways to cool the camera so it doesn't overheat and that you can continue shooting for longer periods of time. Uh, Pentax uh, is probably the most noteworthy for doing the vents and having a fan at the back of the camera uh, which is pulling outside air in and um, to cool the inside of the camera and then expelling the heated air. So supposedly Canon is introducing something along those lines but the difference is uh, Canon's version is going to have a, an apparatus like a, a battery attachment that goes on the bottom of the camera for extra battery life and things like that and that is the part where the air is being pulled in and then it goes into the camera and circulates around and expels out the back of the camera um, the uh, supposedly they're doing this because they want to preserve the uh, weather sealing on the camera so that's pretty interesting that's a novel novel approach that Canon is using and um, I'd be interested to see what turns out of that. Some of the buzz also is that it's not going to be the R5 II, but since Nikon just recently announced their new Z6 III, which is supposed to be now the leading uh, top camera in that category of cameras, <clears throat> the speculation is that Canon's going to introduce their R6 III. So, It'll be interesting to see. Um, the problem is, for me, is that all these camera companies are very tight-lipped about what they're doing, what they're going to release, and when. And it's all very last minute. They'll make an announcement. Next week we're having an event, you know, kind of thing. Um, and then they'll, and then it'll be scheduled. <clears throat> and then they'll have the event. They may leak some teasers or something about what's going on. Uh, Canon did put out a TikTok video. Uh, with the number one on it, and it said, you know, coming soon. That's all it was, just the number one. Um, so that's kind of a teaser, I guess. So they, they sometimes they'll start doing teasers and sometimes video teasers or whatever, trying to generate some buzz and get everybody excited about what's going on. But the 17th is when Canon's supposed to announce that. So if you are a camera enthusiast, I suggest you go to YouTube and find Canon's primary channel and subscribe because um, they will probably be broadcasting on that channel. So, there you go. This week's news. Talk to you later. Bye.